loves welcome to my channel this mama loves disney okay so today my share is just a couple projects that i was working on so i ended up making a few of these different tassels i ended up making like five of them and um and i ended up using a lot of the trims that i ended up picking up at hobby lobby um when i had shared this hobby lobby trim this um yarn trim whatever you want to call it um it reminded me of tigger and Tigger's tail. So um, I wanted to do something with Winnie the Pooh. So I went ahead and put a bunch of different trims together and then I just went ahead and made a little bow right here. And I used um, a bottle cap and I went around the edges um, here. First I used um, just an image. I put the image inside. I went around the edges with glossy accents. Then I just put some little diamond dots inside there. And I did my little holes, you know, and just um, attached it to the ribbon bow. And so I did add Tigger. So it's Pooh and Tigger. And then up here, um, I ended up just getting a little safety pin, a black safety pin that I ended up picking up at Walmart. And then I just spelled out the word Pooh. And so that's the first one. And then the second one, same thing. I did the same thing with the poo. Um, I used a different ribbon and I did try to keep the trims kind of all the same. And then on this one, I ended up getting in some of these little bottle caps. So I went ahead and wanted to try one of those to see how it would work out. So um, I did the same similar image and then I had one of these tickers. So I stuck a ticker on there. So that's another one. And then um, I have this tag, um, pocket, and so I decided to go ahead, I had already had it sitting, and it had the purple on it, and it was a smaller version of some of the ones that I was working on, you know, previously that were bigger, and so I decided to put Maleficent, like she's coming out of the tag, and then I went ahead and just put a little rosette on there. And then I also had another rosette that I had made with three different uh, crepe papers. And then I um, went ahead and put a die around it to cut it out. I ended up cutting out some of these cobwebs out of one of my tools. I used a spider. And I don't even know what this is called. Um, I want to say it's like a floral beading. So I went ahead and added some floral beading on there. This is one of Timmy's um, little chipboard stickers. And so I put that on there. Then um, I have Villain Ribbon. And I ended up using this Villain Maleficent button and I cut the back off. I just ended up using one of my buttons, my Mickey Mouse buttons, and put it on the back to adhere it to make sure it stayed. And then um, just thought it would be cute to fill it up with some goodies and then just gift it like that and then I made a couple of um these um I was gonna say why uh, scribe pens but um some pokey tools and so I haven't glued it down it's like you know you guys it's so weird I am so weird about these tools I mean because um I'm always wor worried about the placement of where the beads are if the beads are too big um you know and it's like I I did gift it to Armin hey Armin um and I gifted hers and I didn't I didn't glue it down because I figured you know what if she doesn't like the way uh the colors or she didn't like um the pattern that I did she can switch it out so um I'm just kind of lingering around and kind of getting a feel and seeing if I like this um pattern and plus I really once I did the center like this in the center with the bead because this one is glued down when I did do that center bead I love it because it just makes it so much easier to grip it and then you can just pick or poke whatever you need to poke off you know and then I do have one that I still haven't glued down which you can see because I have the bow up the top but because the beads are thinner this one's not so bad as well so I made this one, a little Disney one, and then I did one that um, is just in these um, pastel kind of colors with the blue, the pink, and the yellow, and um, then this little colorful one. 
So I did that one with the heart. And then I thought, you know what, I'm gonna try a Christmas one. And um, so I went ahead and did this one. My Christmas, um, I mean, my large beads are more like, I wouldn't say they're pastel, but they're between a regular, you know, dark color and a pastel color. So they're just kind of right in the middle. So, you know, they didn't really match perfect the grains, but I thought, you know what, it's okay. It doesn't really matter. So I put that one together. So that is what I've been working on. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys.